Hey, how you doing out there? I'm going to be fixing up this Samic, uh, cleaning it up, and uh, we're getting ready to do a video on the guitar. And I started to put in the little tiny washers that I like to put under the pickup rings, uh, which let the top vibrate a little more. So my son said, why don't we do a video on that? So that's what this is about. Before we get going, if you like this, be sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Also, if you could hit the notification button, you'll get a notification every time we put out a new video. So please also leave a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. You know, I've kind of been polishing it a little bit, cleaned up the pickups, but now I'm going to put tiny little pickup uh, uh, little washers under each screw of the pickup ring. So uh, let me show you just how I do that. So it's pretty straightforward and easy. Take out these, and by the way, when you take out these screws, you can just lay them on the pickup because they're magnetic. And so they'll stay there. If you noticed, I taped down the tunematic bridge on this uh, just so it's not flopping all over the place and um, it's in the right spot where I got it anyways, but I would be double checking that when we're done. Okay, so these are Seymour Duncan design pickups. So they're supposedly a pretty good pickup. That means Seymour told them how many windings to do, and uh, there it is. So we're just gonna put tiny little rings right under there. So where do you buy these at? Well, I buy them at a hardware store, and they're anywhere from four, five cents to 25 cents, depending on what they're made out of. And the problem is, where for me, ordering them online, I know I can find them a little cheaper, but I, I don't know how to describe or even measure how big they are because they're pretty tiny little things. I ordered some before and they, they were the wrong size, so I've been a little squeamish about getting more of them. So I've got a couple different sizes here. Come on. This one's a little larger. Whoops, that one just went in the went in the that one just went in. Everybody gets uh, extras of these because they all fall in the F holes. It's kind of nice to have a trusty magnet like this to get them out. Alright, so I'm gonna put these four here. So the problem is with this. And right here with this, uh, this one, this one is, I, for, I don't know what that's made out of, but it's non-magnetized. This one is magnetically uh, charged up, you know, it's that material. Eh, crap. So they're very, it's hard to put in when it's magnetic, when, it, when it's magnetized. Or what is the word I'm looking for, Wes? Yeah, well. All right, so what you do, simply take this. There, I can see there's the screw hole. I see where it is. I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to use this toothpick to keep it aligned. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put it under there. Get it right over that hole. Jeez. And I'm going to use that toothpick just to keep it aligned. So 
So, okay, if you can see that shot there, Wes. Okay. So this way it is, uh, otherwise they start falling all over the place, going in the uh, cavity. So I'm gonna take this out. I'm not gonna use my machine drill. Well, I'll, I'll use my battery drill up until the very end. Because you don't want, it's so easy to strip these out. So you don't want to strip out the wood here. Okay, and I don't want them real tight anyways yet because we got to do the opposite side. Now let's do these. I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna put my toothpick in there. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna put my toothpick in. Make sure it's all in there. We're good to go. See how that works? Take this out. Take out my toothpick, put on this screw. Don't, don't tighten it up all the way. Okay, now I'm going to flip the guitar over. Okay, so we're going to do this side here. I've flipped the guitar over. There's a hole there somewhere. I know there is. This is why I like to use the toothpicks. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. There's that one. You okay? And here's this guy. So I've got them all lined up. Push it back down. Okay, two more, we're done. So these are so small, you barely even see them, but it's just enough to get the top, get these just resting off the top, so it's not restricting, uh, it's letting the top vibrate a little bit more. Now you, I used to put taller ones on, but you could see them and, and uh, you know, th those are fine too. They, maybe it's better, I don't know. And I, so I used to put some gold ones in there, brass ones. I don't think it matters other than looks. screwdriver and I'm just going to tighten these down now hand tighten because I don't want to strip them out they don't they just need to be a little firm they don't have to be super duper tight it, I've stripped these out and if you ever do it's not a big deal you gotta 
shove a little sliver of wood in the hole, maybe from a toothpick, and then give your screw something to latch onto. Okay, that should make the top a little more responsive. You know, you have a neck, uh, the um, neck block in here. So I don't know if it's all that important to have this one suspended. Maybe it is. Why not? But especially this one, I would think, would would be the more critical one to suspend a little bit. That was Howard Wren. Uh, Rendell Wall, Howard Rendell Wall from uh, Heritage Guitars that showed me this idea. So I think it's a very valid one. If you feel like the top just isn't vibrating enough, it just it just doesn't sound that great. It'll a lot of times this will bring out the high end. It'll it just changes the sound, believe it or not. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Adios. <music> Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.